Yes, my name is DTM from the My Opinion Podcast. Um, this is my get to know me. So, DT, let's keep it sweet for the first one. <laughs> yeah. How are you today? I'm all right. It's weird. I do this all the time, but this one feels a bit different. I'm a bit nervous. I don't why? know why. Don't be nervous. You in safe hands. <laughs> uh, I hope so. I've heard a lot about you, so. Where would you like? Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you like to go first? Pick A or B? Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go with A. A. Might as well keep it simple. Okay. What was your last? Oh, what was your dream job when you were younger? Ooh, this is nice. Oh, uh, let me see. I feel like just like every every kid out there, pilot. Is that Some what you to fly to a plane? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where it was. I wasn't born in this country, so from where I was from, so it's like every now and then when we do see a plane fly through the skies. Mm -hmm. You kind of just get excited okay. and everyone just always wanted to like aspire to fly a plane one day and for the purpose of any of your new listeners where are you from you said you wasn't from here so right yeah so i'm nigerian mm -hmm. um half Igbo, half yoruba mm -hmm. so yeah came here when i was young okay mm -hmm. and one of the big things you used to see a lot of the time were airplanes <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 especially <laughs> the part the part of the country where, where where i was born in so there wasn't a lot of um it's very rural Mm -hmm. And there was, yeah, so there wasn't a lot of, um, you don't see a lot of stuff like planes or anything like that. So mm -hmm. the only time when you do see it, all the kids kind of run out. It's kind of run run after as far as you can go. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. That's a good dream to have. Yeah. It's not a bad one. Um, a or B? Okay, let's go with B this time. B? That's not so bad. No, it's not bad. I told you. Uh, you I, feel like the, I feel like the creeper. No, relax, <laughs> relax, relax. Get comfy. Cool. What's the lesson you've learned recently? Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, let me see. Oh, yeah. To never judge a book by its cover. That was a crazy one, yeah. Because my line of work, I meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And there's a particular guy, it didn't look very... It looked like he needed help, basically. It look, you know, wasn't well-dressed, wasn't well, whatever, so... But sometimes you do get to see your client's accounts. Mm. His balance was was shocking. Yeah. His balance was crazy. Spoke for him. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> and ever since I, I said to my, I, it's something I've always said to myself anyway, never judge people wherever. I don't, mm. you know, I don't always, but that really reinforced that to me. Like, yo, yeah. like really stop, you know, judging people by how they look or whatever you see. Okay. So that's a big lesson, yeah. I feel you, I feel you. A or B, A or B. Let's go with B again. You feel safer with B? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us about your last nightmare. Ooh. I, I, I haven't had one in time. Really. I can't I had one recently. Let me see. There's one I had. The last one I can remember that just comes straight to my head. I can't remember when it was. Probably would have been a few years back. Mm. But, and... Actually, funny enough, I spoke to different people. They've had similar ones, like where, you know, I feel like, you, you know, you're on top of the mountain uh -huh. and for some reason you slipped and you're falling. Okay. Right? But you never really hit the ground. You're just falling kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, then eventually you just wake up. But at the time, were you trying to wake up? Were you like in a sleep paralysis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's, yeah, it's crazy. But then you're trying to almost stop, trying to grab onto something. But there's nothing to grab onto. You're just literally <laughs> falling through the air. And it's just, you're literally, it feels so real. It's crazy. Mm. And then, yeah, then you wake up and it's like, literally, you're, it just feels crazy. Like, oh, you start grabbing things around you, like your bed and all that stuff. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> it's yeah. just a dream. But that's the last one I could remember, but. I've had a few other ones, but I can't, nothing, nothing's coming to mind right now. That's the most recent one I could probably think of. Okay. A or mm. B? Let's go with A. A. What are your goals for this month? To get this interview done and over with. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> we just getting started. I know, we're just getting started. I know, right? No, no, I'm joking. I'm playing. Um, goals for this month. So, just let little people into, just a little bit into my life. I'm a car guy, so what I do is I buy cars from people and I sell cars. I do mm -hmm. both. So, it's been a very difficult last couple months mm -hmm. with the pandemic and stuff like that. So, business has been very slow. Mm -hmm. Stock with a lot of cars. So, my, my goal for this month was to get rid of all my stock. Okay. And I'm almost there. Oh. Yeah, literally over the last couple of days it's been mad. So, yeah. I think once, once, when they opened up, um, once they opened things back up, mm -hmm. Yeah, got really busy, so nice. we're, we're almost there, yeah. We about to go celebrate. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> AOP, yeah, AOP. Uh, go over A again. <laughs> Do you miss someone? Who and why? Oh, my gosh. Um, 
Uh, I say I miss. Hmm. Do I miss someone? Damn, crazy question. Mm-hmm. Not at the moment. Can I say that? I don't miss no one at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> no? is, is that right? I mean, it, we just be in a in a pandemic. There ain't no one you ain't seen for a minute that you might feel like, oh yeah, I miss this person. And then nobody. Not really. I'm. A, listen, me. Yeah, I'm a one man army. You know, I'm mm. like I'm good in my own company, and um, and most of the there's not a lot of people that I really really like in my heart. I don't really miss people like that. Mm. So and the, the few people that you say I miss. They live with me. Okay. There are very few of them. And most of the other guys as well that are my close friends, even with the pandemic and stuff, we've, we've been finding one oh, way or other to, to link yeah. up. No, outdoors. <laughs> outdoors in that. Yeah. I knew you were trouble. Outdoors in that. But but yeah. But we, so yeah. So I can't say no. I've not missed anyone now. No, not that I can think of now. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. A or B. <laughs> that's allowed. Um, B. We'll let you have that this time. I know, right? That's what I say. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? I want to be a millionaire. Yeah. So freaking bad. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm um, successful in whatever it is I'm doing. But more more so than being money and stuff like that, I like, I like, um, I'm starting to realise my peace of mind is, is very important. Mm. And I really want to master that. So... This is the kind of like the journey I'm, I'm trying out. So I want to be, hopefully in 10 years time, doing something that I love, making a decent money. Obviously money makes the world go around, so you need that. But more, most importantly, like really enjoying what I do. Mm. Yeah, so beyond the money side. So just getting happiness, um, happiness from what I actually do. Where the money resides. So, exactly, where the money resides, exactly. <laughs> where the money resides, where the money resides. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah. A or B? Uh, a. You feel, you I'm feel trying to work a little system. Now. I'm trying to work a little system to see if it works. But because I feel I like be a different one I know the crazy me. questions. Can you do that? You... Yeah, I can. Wow. I'm shaking. I want to make sure. Yeah, I know. You try to you try to get me in the hot water. No, no, no. Look, this is gonna be nice. All right, cool. That was a nice one. All right, cool. Describe yourself in three words. Okay, dry humor. <laughs> um. <laughs> I've been told that before by more than one or two people. So, um, loyal and humble. Okay, and elaborate. Why? Why do? You, why did you pick those three words? Uh, so with the, the loyal part, um, I'm somebody is based on my upbringing and stuff. I I find it very hard to let people in. Mm. So I always try to study people from a distance. But once I do decide that, can you swear? I mean, it's okay, your, cool. It's your, it's your, once it's your I do decide that, look, then. I, I'm loyal to a fault. Like it's hard for me to break away from people. Like I give people chances over and over again. Once I've accepted you, mm. like it's hard for me to break away from that. So yeah, that that's something that's really I've clocked onto lately. Uh, what else? Um, I said um, humble again. Like I'm very to myself. Mm. You know, I, I know you see our social media people. People show off. People are showing off every little thing they have. They did the what. If I wanted to be an Insta celeb, I could have, you know what I mean? Like, and maybe that might be one of the examples I can give, like, because I've got things to flash online, I've got did I've got a lifestyle to show all of that, but I've never I've never I find it very cringe to do stuff like that. Mm. So I like to stay, um, yeah, stay grounded and be humble. So that's oh. one part of myself that I know. And then um dry sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That apparently, yeah, like I make jokes out of um the most Crazy situation, mm. but in a very tasteful way. You, and that do people, you think so? Well, I mean, that's what I've been told. I don't know. <laughs> but like, so I would make a joke, yeah, uh-huh. and sound very serious about it and look very serious about it with a straight face mm-hmm. was a joke. And then people would just laugh. But they look at me they're like, should, they're not like, should we laugh at this? Or... <laughs> <laughs> they're waiting for you to yeah, let them know like, well, is this, Was this meant to be a joke or is it serious? Or not? Yeah, so, yeah, but I've been told that a couple of, um, but I know my old manager my old workplace, that was one of the feedback he gave, yeah. not even to me, to another manager that was handed, because when they were oh, leaving, wow. he was handing off. And then um, I've been told that as well by a couple of friends and stuff like that. So, okay. And so I just will throw that in there. No, why not? We're getting to know you. <laughs> exactly, yeah. A or B? Uh, B. A word for the world. What's something that you'd like to kind of leave behind? Yeah, to say for people. 
to say to people? Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, find somebody that needs help and help them. If it's just one person, just find somebody. And why is that? Why do you feel like that? I feel like um, it's so easy mm. with this environment that we live in. Like it's so easy to be just focused on what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve. Mm. And then there's a lot of people out there that need help and they don't have nobody. So if you have more, if you have compa if you have the capacity to help. I think, yeah, sometimes just, you know, pause and just look around you and, you know, help, help somebody. Even and if it it's one person. it doesn't take anything from you to do so? It doesn't. Yeah. No. Well, we don't do, we don't really do, we don't do enough. I feel like we're all caught up, um, caught, too caught up in our own, in our own shenanigans and stuff. So, but sometimes just take a, because I just believe like, look, once you leave, one, we're all going to die. We're all going to go one day. So it's like. What sort of legacy do you want to leave behind? Mm. And especially this pandemic has shown a lot of that, especially losing a lot of loved ones as well. So it's like, you really get to see their afterlife. Mm. Like, with, from us, us perspective anyways, like, you get to see how people talk about them. You get to see people coming out of the woodwork, oh, this person did this for me, they did that for me, they helped my kids through this, they did that. And it's like, and it's really touching when you see that. You're like thinking, damn, it's really, it's really important to be good. Yeah. And yeah, because that is your legacy at the end of the day. If you're a horrible person on earth, nobody ain't gonna give a damn when you're gone. Love it. A or B? A. <laughs> What's your biggest regret? Um probably say I'll say maybe not buying a Bitcoin when I had a chance. <laughs> Somebody brought it to my attention a few years back when it was not really popular and then um, mm. I didn't, but I thought it was a scam. Yeah. So I was like, no, nah, I think a it. lot of people had that view Exactly, yeah. And then, you know, seeing what kind of numbers is doing right now. So have you jumped on, the, on it now? Are you, have you got any coins? No, not, yeah, not big, yeah, but other ones. Mm. Yeah, I thought might as well. Can't, okay. can't beat me twice. Don't want to, yeah, don't want to miss out this no, time. No, not twice, no. <laughs> A or no. B? Um... <laughs> B. Why not? Listen, there's a lot of people regretting that one. Yep. How was your night? What night? Last night. It's not a trick question. <laughs> yeah, no, I was thinking, what do you mean? I was like, what was happened? <laughs> um, how was my night? Last night. Huh, let me see. I got a really terrible memory. It was the first Saturday I'm even trying out of to these, think what these, I did last new night. these new restrictions. How was your night? What did you get up to? No, yeah, that's it. Yesterday was Sunday, that's it. Football. So every Sunday I play football. Oh, yeah, it actually was, isn't it? It was, it was Sunday yesterday. Yeah, because I was thinking, yeah, yeah. So every Sunday I play football. I have a group of um, fellow Africans. Mm. We, we've been playing football together um, for the last maybe 10 years. Yeah. At the same location okay. every Sunday. So I don't really miss it. So yesterday, yeah, usually now, when it's summertime, we, after a game, mm. one of the uncles there, one of our rich uncles, he just goes to the thing, supermarket, buys us drinks, mm. all of that stuff. So we chill for a bit and actually give, um, she gives advice to mm. some, a lot of the younger lot, how to treat women, stuff like that. You'd be surprised what we talk about in football. Okay. Yeah, but, but yeah, but that's, that's literally what I did yesterday. therapy session. Exactly. That's literally what I did yesterday. And um, yeah, and in the evening, yeah, in the evening, I had a movie night with the kids. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I had a movie night, popcorn, all of that, ordered in. Pizza, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wasn't out. I wasn't it was out. Chill it was night. actually pissing me off when I was seeing, because where I live is quite, is like quite central. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of tourists come around there and it was pissing me off when I, when I come back from football and I see the whole, the whole area is rammed. Yeah. And I was just thinking, you're going to lock us down again. Guys, let's uh... just, let's, <laughs> let's use our senses here, man. Let's do this thing sensibly. But, but so hey. you had a nice yeah, so I was, night. I was indoors. Yeah. I was indoors. Okay. A or B? Um, hmm, I don't like where, where but B was going there. Let me go back to A. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that direction don't B's going. Don't be scared, don't <laughs> yeah. be scared. Um, what's your biggest, biggest achievement to date? I'd say my personality, mm. I'd say. I don't know how, what, how, where about, but I've been able to, I can adapt to different environment it doesn't matter where where i am mm. it doesn't matter where i find myself i can always adapt and survive it doesn't matter mm. i can always um i can always blend in yeah. if i have to bearing in mind bearing in mind like 
English wasn't my first language. It's crazy. So I was able to pick things up very quickly and watch, sit back, watch how people interact and behave and try, try and learn and pick up things. Mm. And yeah, when I'm in different sort of environment, I literally just adapt. It's crazy. Like I've seen it happen. No, it's great <laughs> to have that kind of element of um, self-development, of yeah. knowing yourself and understanding the different yeah. um, situations that you're into. I don't want to put achievements into uh, materialistic things. Mm. That's just how I feel like, because I feel like those things will come and go. Yeah. Like, so for me, self development is a great ex place. To exactly, have exactly. That's so good. that's how I see it. Yeah. Amazing. A or A or B. Uh, let's go with A. <laughs> you really trying to stay away from B? Yeah. We're gonna have to go back there at some point. We would. Yeah. Oh uh, no, we won't do that one. Yes, I, I feel can like you're do looking that. for a couple of spicy <laughs> ones still. No. Um, what are your goals for this year? Right, obviously, I'm sure you guys know about our podcast, in my opinion, Podcast UK. Mm -hmm. My main aim is to, obviously, both me and the team, is get the podcast doing the numbers, getting it, because a lot of people are not looking at us mm -hmm. at the moment, but then I've looked at what's out there, and I'm looking at what we're putting out, and I believe we should be doing a lot more than we're doing, but I know that with consistency, we will get there, so that's one of my main goal this year is to try to get that our podcast to where it needs to be and also I want to also start another obviously I've got a couple of other passive income I want to start another one mm -hmm. so I want to start another little venture hopefully with with, um, with my brothers this year yeah. you know I've not got any any other thing like that going most of the other stuff I got I do business wise mm -hmm. is usually by myself yeah so well I'd love to start something with my brother nice. my brother's that's great. Yep. A or B? Uh, okay, let's try. Let's, let's go with B. Let's go with B. <laughs> Listen, don't be scared of B. Nah. Look, what or who is your motivation? Not that bad. That's not a bad one, no. Not that bad. Um, I say it's my mum, you know, I'll be real. Mm. That's why my first, yeah, because, yeah, I say it's her, yeah, because I just seen her as a single parent mm -hmm. raising all of us mm -hmm. and going through what she had to go through and achieving what she achieved. Just seeing that constant, that drive mm. in her. She's, she's a very driven woman and she's a go-getter. So just seeing, growing up around that, mm. it just made me like that. And then she always says one thing like, because if you like good things, you need to go and go and get the money to get the good things. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm, um, I'm somebody somewhat an expensive taste. So yeah. the, the hard work to go out and go and get it. That came from her, so I said that's one of my inspiration. Okay, like it. So don't ever think you can't get, you can't be inspired by a woman. Um, man them out there, you can. Yeah. Listen, they're the greatest people to be inspired exactly. by. Yeah. <laughs> a or B. <laughs> uh, B again. B. If you were to advise anyone under eighteen, what three things would you tell them? Yeah, that's cool. Um. Don't buy into social media and what you see. Um, have, a, have, a, have an aim in life, have a goal in life and stick to it. Don't get distracted or let anyone... Um, yeah, don't let what you see or let anyone man them on the, on the roadside, wherever it is, even your friends. Don't ever let them talk you to maybe thinking that what you're doing is weird or... You know, they don't see what you're doing and they want to do this um, get rich quick schemes or whatever it is. Like, mm. stay focused and understand real success comes from hard work mm. and time as well. You need to put in the work. There's no overnight success. So I say that. And then um, I'll just say be yourself. Be you. Be yourself. Take the time out to actually spend some time with yourself to learn who you are, who mm. you are. I think it's very important. A lot of the youths are not doing that these days. They're letting social media sort of dictate who, who they are, you know, mm. di their direction. So it's like, nah, stay focused, figure out who you are and don't ever let nobody else, not you, not, I mean, not your friends, not your family or the environment you're in, don't ever let that shape who you are. You figure out what you like, who you want to be and then, um, yeah, then and go be, for it. And go for it, that's it. That's yeah, it. I love that. A or B. See, it wasn't that bad. No. Nope. Are, are, we, are we done? <laughs> almost, <laughs> no, almost. A, a, almost, almost. A. You're getting there. You're getting there. Don't a. be scared. 
Um, no, let's, let's say that one. On the first date, do you feel obligated to pay for both of you or just for yourself? Both. Come on, man. I don't be, be knowing about them, them, them things there. So I know some, some of the men, they're thinking, oh, no, you should be, nah, bro, I pay for the, you have to pay for the ladies, man. What if you're not enjoying yourself? Don't matter. You're on the date already. Mm. <laughs> I mean, especially if you asked, if yeah. you asked a girl on a date. Yeah. Bro, that's not even a discussion, bro. You should be paying for both. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, 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 and, um, I'm always of that belief of like, look, if you know your pocket, can't handle it. Do you know what I mean? Don't put yourself in that predicament, fam. It's very simple, <laughs> bro. Like, I was having this argument even on the pod um, not long ago. Like, bro, don't put yourself in a situation that you can't handle. It's very simple. Mm. Like, so yeah, man, you take a girl out, you pay for it, man. Even, Cute. even, even like, even if she asked you out, bro. Yeah. I still pay for both. Like, I just, I find it very weird, bro. Like, sitting there and watching, if you watch a woman go into her pocket to pay for you, like, what Would you that? ever let a woman pay? No, it depends. So, for example, if we're in a relationship and mm. let's say um, I've been paying all the time and then maybe the one time she wants to treat you, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. She can treat you, that's different. But if you ask someone on a date, you got to pay, man. you okay. got to pay. I feel you. We on your team. That's where I stand on that one, yeah. <laughs> I, I think all the ladies are going to be happy with your answer. <laughs> <laughs> a or B? Uh, B. <laughs> you got that one right. Not that you're being graded. I think it should be that <laughs> though. Like, I mean, it's, that's not even a discussion. If I say password, what are you thinking of? I can't tell you that. Then you're going to know password to all my stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. What do you mean if I say password, what are you thinking about? I mean, that's the question. It says, if I say password, what are you thinking of? Yeah, I'm thinking of my password to all my all my um, my <laughs> bank account, all my shit. That's what Is I'm it thinking about. All the about. same thing. Yeah, like I can't. <laughs> no, I can't even go into that one because it's like giving people clues in that. <laughs> I think you kind of answered this before, but just in case it's different. Yeah. Um, who has the most influence in your life at the moment, and why? The most influence. Mm. Um. Hmm. My kids. Yeah. Yeah, I said my kids. Yeah. I mean, they're the, they're, I mean, I've been going through a lot of really, really um, rough patch mm. over the last year or so. And a lot of times you want to like, you just want to give up. I can't lie. There's been, you go through certain phases where you're just like, whoa, what is the point of all of this, fam? Like, when is this going to end? What, like, you know what I mean? Mm. And I, I swear, like, that's one of the only thing that when I just think about them, I'm like, I got to keep going. Yeah. Like, I can't be a coward and just, I got to represent for them. Yeah. I got to make sure. And then you see certain situations happening in the world and, you know, young people being involved in it. Nah, nah, I can't let them go through that because mm. my absent, me being absent is going to mean that for them, mm. potentially. You know what I mean? The, the, the chances of that is a lot higher. Yeah. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to. So, yeah. So for a lot of the things that I do is because of them. Yeah. It's because of them. I know it sounds very cliche and whatever, but for me, it just is what it is. I can't. If that's what it is for me, I can't tell a lie about it. So, mm. yeah, they they are literally the wind. Yeah, beneath, beneath my wings. wings. <laughs> yes, sir. Let them keep you flying. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. A or B? Uh, B. <laughs> oh, you like me now, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what is your top love language and why? Oh man, I had this before. Wait. Gone out of my head now. What's the oh you're gonna have to help me out with this one? I can't remember exactly what it's called. You know, like when you like being word of is it word of affirmation? Mm -hmm. Affirmation, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So that that's my yeah. Yeah, I like that. Why is that? I just like being knowing that I'm, you know, I'm on the right path. I like being reminded, I like being told, you know, you're doing well. Cause sometimes I might just be doing certain things sometimes and I don't even know. <laughs> you freestyle. Exactly, just literally. And I do that a lot, by the way. I just go off of it. And then sometimes it, it's really good just to like, yeah, and then, you know what? You're doing well. I like what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're going, you're, you're doing the right thing. You're, and then I like that. It keeps yeah. me going. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, that's so that, that's mine. Yeah. Okay. A yeah. or B? Uh, let's go with A. Look, you could be happy. Look. Woo! But that's A. Yeah, that's A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
What's your worst memory of um, 2020 and why? Oh, 2020. Um, I think it'll be the um, G George Floyd situation mm. in 2020 anyways. It'll be that, yeah. Because, yeah, just watching the fact that this man's death was um, televised. It was literally, this man literally got his life taken on, on national TV. It was broadcasted everywhere. Mm. And it just makes you, because another black man just like myself. Mm. So it hits differently. Yeah. But I think, yeah, and I think that was, that probably was one of the ones I say through the lockdown. Because everything else was all right. People been furloughed, everyone's been indoors. Mm. This is the kind of stuff I like anyways. You so you identified <laughs> yourself with that particular situation? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you, you got to feel, of course, anyone with a uh, heart or anything, whatever, like, you know that the whole situation, anyway, everyone has lost their lives due to the COVID and stuff. Like, of course, it's a sad, sad, sad situation. But I liked what the pandemic brought in terms of keeping everyone, making everyone pause. Mm -hmm. Everyone was forced mm -hmm. to actually have to pause mm -hmm. and actually look at each other in the eyes. And maybe if you live with a partner, whatever, actually look at your partner in the eyes, maybe you might have not seen, you know, and actually have a, have a conversation. So I like that aspect of it. So I can't really say that was a worst memory, but so, but then that situation, because of how big it was as well, mm. even now going to the rally as well, and then um, the protest, sorry, yeah. So yeah, that was probably one of my worst one. I'd like to say that. Yeah. Well, let's see where we going. If you were to say sorry to someone, who would it be and why? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a mad one. Um, I hate saying sorry, by the way. I'll let you lot know that after <laughs> rip. I hate apologizing. Even when I'm, I'm one of those kind of people, yeah? even when I'm wrong, when I'm now effed up, yeah? Rather than say sorry, I'll just buy you something. Oh gosh. I'm weird like that. <laughs> so, um... And that's the women, by the way. I see the man them there, all oh, shit. I don't buy no. If I'm, <laughs> I don't the do that for the man them. I don't care. Yeah, nah, B. Nah, B. <laughs> if it's a man them, I'm. She is what it is. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I really hate saying sorry. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really a sorry type of guy. Mm. So I'm just trying to think. Um, who would I? Um, so sorry. The question was, if you want to say sorry, to somebody, who would it be? Mm. Yeah. So to be honest, I'll probably say sorry to my mom. Yeah. Mm. We've had a lot of, last year, like you said, like 2020, mm. we've had, me and I've had a lot of disagreement about so many things. Mm. So, and I probably would have, I probably would have been, uh, was a lot um, more harsh on her mm. than I should have been. So, um, yeah. So I'll probably say sorry to her. Even though she probably does need to say sorry to me as well, but you know, that would never happen. <laughs> But, Listen, you say but, it first. But mums, if you ever watch this, <laughs> I am sorry for putting you through some of the stuff I did last uh -huh. year. I didn't mean to. My heart was in the right place. And I genuinely do love you and appreciate you. Aww. Yeah. I'll accept that on her behalf for now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just in case she doesn't. <laughs> yeah. And your last question. Are you happy? It's the last one. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Is where do you see yourself in the next five years? I want to be a millionaire, so <laughs> freaking bad. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, success, success. And surrounded by family and friends as well. Mm. That's where I want to be, man. Successful around my loved ones, my boys, my family and all of that, man. And that's just what I want to see, man. That's what, that's what I'm working towards. Perfect. That's what we're doing all of this for. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's it. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, you survived. <laughs> Yay! And I'm DTM, aka Designated Driver, and welcome to my story. Bye-bye. <laughs>